Hello everyone, good evening I should say, on this rainy evening, this is The Idle Mind, episode 2, let me get my sleeve out of there, well, on this rainy evening, I think I've already said it once before, so today, first, let me just get my nice coat here hung up, I've gotten a lot of compliments on this coat in the past couple of days, let's display it proudly right here, put the sleeve over there. A nice umbrella right here. So today, we'll be talking about shoes. So first, let me get my shoes on right now, real quick. Do you know what this is? Have you ever seen what one of these is? Huh? This is called a shoehorn. Shoehorn. One word, and it's spelled like it sounds. S-H-O-E-H-O-R-N. Shoehorn. And this is to help your foot get into the shoe. Let me demonstrate it for you right now. Get my nice sock right in there. And see, you put it in the back right there like that. And then boom. And also, I'll sometimes move the table. Let's get foot number two into the shoe. Just like that. The shoe horn, well, it's no longer needed to be used for the rest of the show. Anyway, so let me show you. This is my dress shoe right here. My dress shoe. I wear this every single day. Let me just move the table a little bit closer here. I wear this every single day, and I'm going to polish it for you all right now. Do you know what shoe polish does? Shoe polish is made for the sole purpose just to make the shoes look nicer than they actually, or make them look nicer than they are at the current moment. So for example, on this shoe, what this shoe polish does, it polishes it up. It does exactly what the title says, what the name is, uh, says. You know, it polishes the shoe, and it spruces it up. It makes it look better than it already is, even though it's a quite decent shoe at the moment. It makes it look even shinier. Boom. Very nice, right? Very, very good. So, uh, now, right now, what I was getting to you, first let me just get a drink of water here. My mouth's been dry, let me tell you that. That ever happened to you? Your mouth get dry? If it ever does, just get a glass of water and it'll be all right. Trust me. Anyways, what did one? What did the fish say when it swam into a wall? Damn. Now, as I said, we will be talking all about shoes today in this episode. Now, first, let me explain to you this. Why do we wear shoes? What's the purpose of them? Why do we wear these uncomfortable? or sometimes very comfortable, ugly, or good-looking things on our feet all the time. Well, shoes are meant for one purpose, or they were originally meant for one purpose. Nah, it doesn't hold true, but I'll explain to you what the one purpose they used to be. It used to be to protect your feet. That was the purpose of shoes. Think of it this way. Back, say, even, even probably, you know, 17, 16, 15, even by the time, probably, even by the Roman Empire, even all those areas, in history, people wore shoes all the time. You know why? Protected their feet. Think about this. Say you had to walk around on rocks all day in bare feet by, for, let's say, eight hours. Let me just say, after that, your feet wouldn't be looking good. You wear a nice pair of hiking boots, though? Let's just say, your feet would be just fine. The sole purpose of shoes, originally, was to protect your feet from what was outside. However, nowadays, they have many other purposes. For example, now, make your feet look nice, and go part of go with part of an outfit like these black dress shoes here. They could also be just to look good, uh, you know, like, uh, I don't know, maybe like a sign of class, kind of like, oh, Air Jordans, you know, all the people in the hood have to wear those. Uh, you know, and then you get stupid shoes, like Crocs. Like, all right, let me just say this. Five-year-olds looks good on, 45-year-olds looks terrible on. That's all I have to say. If you're 45 and you're still wearing Crocs right now, grow up. So there's many, many different types of shoes out there. And actually, what I'd like to do very shortly is actually explain to you what some of the different types of shoes are. You know, I'll be in the hallway, just you know, across the hallway there, on the staircase, and I have so many different pairs of shoes lined up just for you. I want to show you all the different types and what they look like, and I'll get in-depth on what their purposes are. So anyways, what else was I going to say right now? Oh yeah, by the way, did you notice anything different about my hair? 
I'm using pomade in it this time. Do you know what pomade is? You know, men actually in the 1950s sometimes used pomade. Some of them used hair gel, but others used brill cream. But right now I'm using pomade at the moment. And sometimes it's like, uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to do a whole other episode on hair products, so I'll get, I'll get back to you on that one a little later on. Let me adjust my pocket handkerchief here. Very nice. So anyways, let's take a trip into the hallway right now, and let me show you all the different types of shoes. Come on, follow me. So here we are today. You know, as I said, I would be showing you all about shoes. So we just took a trip across the hall, and here we are on the staircase, we have plenty of shoes lined up. So let's try to make the best out of this garbage video, and let's try to accomplish something by doing this. So we have many pairs of shoes lined up here on the staircase, so let's start with the first pair. This is a common dress shoe, an Oxford style of that. Now, I have two pairs of dress shoes. The first pair I'm wearing right now, and I showed it to you earlier in the video. And this is my second pair, which this one I wear practically, shouldn't say every day, every other day. You know, this one I polish, you know, every, almost every day. And I wear it almost anywhere, you know, as long as I'm wearing a tie, I'll be wearing this shoe. You know, actually, you don't need to wear this with a tie. Many people say, alright, you know, this is only for formal wear. Nonsense. You could wear this. You could wear this even with chino dress pants and a polo shirt. You know, tucked in, hopefully. But no, you don't need to do that. You can wear this, if, wear this with anything you want. But it'll look a lot better, you know, if a suit and tie, shirt and tie. Or it could just be chino dress pants and a polo shirt. But some sort of more or less formal wear, you know, with this. Cis shoe is to basically, you know, basically the footwear for formal wear, you know? Make your feet look good, too. You gotta do that. And the second type of shoe that I'd like to show you is down here. It's called a sneaker. Have you ever worn one of these before? This is a black sneaker. I actually just got it. And sneakers, more or less, are for, well, some may say, like, physical activity. You know, like sports, kind of. But that's not necessarily the truth, either. I consider this more of a type of casual footwear. For example... This is me being myself here. I would wear this, let's just say, with, eh, maybe like chino dress, chino dress pants and a polo shirt tucked in. I would wear that with this, because that's my casual wear. But black sneakers like this could be worn with anything. They could be worn with jeans, could be worn with shorts, even sweatpants. This could be worn with anything, and being that it's black, it could go with any color, practically. However, many people associate this with physical activity. I don't. But would I wear this to the gym? Yes, I would. Now the third type of shoe, this one's a boot actually for that matter. There it goes leaning against, let's lean it against the wall here. There it goes. This type of boot here is a snow boot. Now most of the time you see this in one occasion and one occasion only. When it snows, you will wear this boot here to basically protect your lower pant leg and your socks and feet from the snow. As you can see, it's lined you know, with a type of uh, you know, furry type material here for warmth purposes, but also you know, to protect it from the snow. So what this is supposed to do, it has a nice little zipper right here, is uh, what it's supposed to do, you just step in the snow, and the snow's not supposed to get in, or you know, and damage your pants, or freeze your feet. So that's the purpose of a snow boot. Most of the time you'll see people, maybe if they're walking around in the snow, or shoveling their driveways, you'll see people wearing this, not dress shoes. If you see someone wearing those in about 80 degree weather, don't mind calling your mental institution nearby. So, here we go with the next pair of shoes, or this is another boot type. These are called hiking boots. Have any of you ever gone hiking? You do, do you know what a hike is? Very well, very good. Now, as you can see, this has been well worn, you know, and it's been worn a lot of times. Uh, this is actually my father's hiking boot, but he let me borrow it. Now, hiking boots are meant to go out on the trails, to go out in the, quote, wilderness on long extended excursions, as you may call them, aka a five-mile hike, let's say. And this is basically meant, all right, it could go over rocks, sticks, dirt, practically any terrain. I think this one is actually waterproof as well. Yeah, so you could go for almost any terrain in this. And it's also said to protect your socks, your foot, you know, from the terrain. For example, say if you had to do a hike barefoot, 
Oh, man, I can't imagine what your foot would look like after that. But say you wear this hiking boot, your foot's going to be fine. This is also meant to protect your foot, you know, from the outdoors. And also for longer distances, you know, longer periods. Obviously, you could wear a sneaker like that if you've gone on a short hike. But this could be even for a short or a long hike. Its main purpose is just to protect your foot from the outdoors. And a final pair of shoes, you can't even call them shoes, are these nice little slippers right here. And as you can see also, these are meant to keep your feet warm. That's the only purpose of them. That's it. They've got this nice fleece uh, wool lining here. Can't even wear these anymore. They're too small. Just like the other two pairs I own. Uh, anyways. <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, here. Yeah. The person behind the camera is looking at me. Anyways, here. Yeah. It's got a, a nice wool lining here. Oh, very nice. And the main purpose here is, to, obviously, as I've mentioned before, to keep the foot warm. Mostly commonly seen in cooler in cooler weather, but that's not the case. You can wear this any time of the year you want. Say you got the air conditioner blasting and your feet are cold. Boom! Put on the put on the slippers. Your feet's fine. Your foot is fine. So those are slippers for you right here. Okay. I threw that. Yes, I did. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> hey, I didn't hit you. I missed you by two inches, but that's fine. Anyways, so that's about that. I hope you enjoyed all about shoes today and piece of garbage slippers that don't fit. So, let's head back into the studio, shall we? Let me grab my nice glass of water and let me get back to you in the studio. Yeah, let's go. Alright, so, we are back. That was very neat, wasn't it? Seeing those, uh, seeing all about different types of shoes, I was able to show you all. You know, you got to see how, how different they could range. From the snow boot to the dress shoe that I'm wearing, the sneaker pictured here on the table, they differ in so many ways. And it's just very entertaining to see, you know, how different each shoe could be from the other one. Now, one thing is common amongst shoes, though. Let me lift up the shoe to show you here. Most shoes nowadays have these things. What are these? These are called laces. Laces. And these are used to be tied. You tie this on the shoe, typically in a classic knot, and that will help fasten your shoe and help it stay on your foot. That's what laces, they're kind of like fasteners for the shoe. You know, they help it not come off of your, your foot, you know, while you're doing stuff, because that's the last thing you want is for your, uh, you know, shoe to go flying. So laces are to help the, the shoe stay on your foot. You know, so it's a very, very helpful thing that's on the shoe. Now, one other thing. Did you know that shoes all right, they're meant to be worn, but there are many other things you could do with shoes. Let's take a look at some of the things you could do with shoes. Take a look at this. What can I do with this one? Look, I could put it in my hand and I could use it as a little glove right here. You know, another thing I could do, I already put this. Look at this. See the little Lego uh, sailors I put here on this, uh, in the laces I tucked in. Look at this, you could put it on the uh, table. If you ever wanted to, you could move it around and pretend it was a little boat. And that's for any of you that still have a child left inside of you. Anyways, you could do that. You could use your imagination. You could do many things with it. Even if you really wanted to get real creative, you could use it as a little container like this. In the bottle here right now, boom, look. Nice and secure in the shoe. So shoes have more than one purpose. However, the most practical purpose of them all is to be worn on your feet. And one other thing, and I'm probably, if any of you play rugby, I'm sure you would all know this. You know, after a victory, you'd be drinking, well, some nice good old rum, or whiskey. Whiskey it is, I believe. Some nice good old whiskey out of this nice sneaker right here. I know, I read about some place. That's what rugby players do after a uh, victory. I'm just thinking it's quite humorous, actually, to picture these guys drinking uh, whiskey out of a rugby shoe after they've been actually playing it. <laughs> anyways. It is, it, it is, you know, but anyways... So there are many, many uses of shoes, you know, out there, but obviously the most practical of them all is, well, to be worn on your feet, you know. So, shoes, what do we have to say about them? Shoes are a very, very helpful part of everyday life. You know, you wouldn't believe some of the things we take for granted. Believe me, I don't even know some of the things we take for granted. And you take everything for granted, and you only realize that you do that when you lose them. For example, shoes, you know. You just wear them every single day. You know, it's just a part of everyday life. But imagine 
having to go about a month without shoes, imagine what your feet would end up after that. Just imagine how bad they would look, how many blisters and cuts there would be if you had to go through everyday life without shoes. Just, just think for a moment what that would be like. Things we take for granted. Anyways, so that concludes this episode for today. Now, first off, I'd like to thank you first and foremost for suffering through a second episode of this series here. You know, all about shoes. I hope you actually learned a little thing or two about shoes in the process of this episode here. Anyways, we'll be back tomorrow, and every day following, you know, we've got about 98 more episodes to come now, so we have plenty more we could all talk about here. You won't believe what we'll be talking about tomorrow. Believe me, you won't even expect it. Anyways, this is The Idle Mind. I'm going to get my coat on here for a moment on this beautiful rainy night. Now, tomorrow is actually a holiday in the U.S. and Canada called Labor Day, which uh, commemorates all the people who work. But I'll get that to you tomorrow. Anyways, my coat is now on. And, well... This is The Idle Mind, Episode 2. Today, we learned all about shoes. Thank you, and have a great night. See you tomorrow.